Well, Dipti is over the other side of this. Actually. She's got the papers uh, for us today. And as we were talking about with Benedict in just a moment, um, Theresa May meeting with European leaders today to seek another extension. How long can this go on? Uh, of the Brexit <laughs> deadline, Dipti. I think we all have been wondering that for a long time, yes, Stuart. True. Um, <laughs> Theresa May is making her umpteenth trip to Paris and Berlin today to meet with Emmanuel Macron and Angela Merkel. Merck and Mac meet May, that's what Metro says on its front page. <laughs> Valiant effort at alliteration there. Nice. Um, she's going on her U Euro tour again. I really like this cartoon from uh, Patrick Blower. Um, you see in this cartoon, she's uh, on her Euro tour. It's uh, Theresa. Theresa May and the backstops, um, except no one's interested uh, in her concert anymore. She's screeching hello to Europe again. Uh, there's only one man in the crowd there and he's got his thumbs down. We all get an idea of what uh, people think about her European tour. I think we can probably tell. What about the other papers? This is The Guardian, uh, not this photo here or not this cartoon here, <laughs> but uh, this side talking about uh, May risking Tory wrath. That's right, she is. But uh, you, you'll note the positionment of uh, those positioning of those two articles that you've got May on one hand, and on the other hand, opposite is Edvard Munch's The Scream, which is, by the way, on display at a new British exhibition. The Scream is considered to be an autobiographical work where we see the uh, artist screaming uh, in the open skies while his two companions desert him. So, is there any? subliminal mm, message to be, be gleaned from that. <laughs> I'm not sure, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Um, the Daily Telegraph also has a very good front page, a picture perhaps made for the front page. <laughs> Merkel tosses, that was actually a gift given to her by the German Handball Federation, uh, but for the Daily Telegraph, the ball is in her court. Certainly is. Now, The Times, you found a piece that's looking at uh, Emmanuel Macron's role as it's been seen as uh, the bad cop, if you like, in the Brexit talks. That's right. And The Times is wondering if he can keep up this bad cop uh, stance for much longer because uh, they've actually analysed why he is taking on the bad cop stance. It's because he's looking ahead to the European elections in uh, May next month uh, and his campaign is focusing on things that would affect Europeans like wages and taxes and immigration hitting to the daily lives of Europeans. He's fearing, perhaps, according to The Times, that this campaign will be overshadowed by the technocrat talk of borders and backstops. Uh, for this reason, he might be tempted to, uh, to uh, refuse a postponement of the Brexit deadline. But The Times says it won't happen if Macron doesn't get Europe backing on this. Uh, likely, they, they say he'll back down at the last minute to secure a compromise, I quote, for which the EU is famous. Yes, indeed. Let's move to something different. Uh, Donald Trump listing Iran's Revolutionary Guard as a terror group. Yeah, and in retaliation, Iran listed U.S. military forces as a terrorist organization, the tit for tat, uh, just getting um, bigger and bigger. You can see the anger on, uh, from Tehran on the front page of this paper, Habad Janoub, which says the only way to respond to imbeciles is to shut their mouth, as they've literally done here with a picture of Donald Trump on their front page. Uh, former Tehran bureau chief and former Iran prisoner Jason Rezaian writes in today's Washington Post that while the guard plays a role in in repression, designating the whole branch is, quote, short-sighted. I quote, another blunt and crude move in a situation that calls for more elegant solutions. Now, Dipti's found uh, the papers are reacting to uh, an event that happened at the weekend. A suspected poacher suffering a gruesome death in South Africa's Kruger Park, shedding light, really, on the poaching business. Yeah, and, and our reactions to uh, these kind of deaths as well. That The man in question, uh, the suspected poacher, was uh, trampled to death by an elephant and then eaten by lions in a story that went viral. Uh, many on, on social media celebrating his death as poetic justice, as mm. karma, as a victory for the animals. But uh, it's prompted an editorial from the Chicago Tribune today which in which the editors say his death speaks not to, I quote, a rich man's pleasure hunt gone bad, but a low-level actor in a global trade of rhino horns and elephant ivory. Killing the poacher won't stop the poaching. Uh, that's where we really need to be focusing our attention on. On that note, the Independent notes that this weekend, this coming weekend, hundreds of demonstrators in London will march down Downing Street to deliver a letter to Theresa May, in, signed by celebrities, including um, animal rights activist William Shatner, calling on the government to close loopholes to, that make poaching possible. It's part of 70 planned marches around the world this weekend.
I'm interested in this one. A new study has found a way to improve memory that deteriorates with age, something I have a lot of trouble with. <laughs> uh, well, you know, if you've ever forgotten a name or uh, where your house keys are or you're looking for your glasses and they're on top of your head the whole time, uh, this story might interest you. Um, apparently, our memories start slipping as early as our 20s, so we're all pretty much doomed. Um, <laughs> but scientists have found a way to potentially reverse this decline, a technique that the New York Times likens to tuning an orchestra or tuning a guitar. Basically, it's gentle stimulation thanks to electrodes. They kind of get into your brain and just like change a couple of wires. Uh, and in this test, uh, there were surprising results. The memories of older people actually yeah. became as good as uh, as when they were young adults. Oh. It's all preliminary uh, results, though, but promising for those of us who are naturally forgetful. Yes, I could do with that. Just flip my lid up and <laughs> sort out some cables inside. Thank you. <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it